On March 18, 1951, Ben Cohen was born. Who would have thought that a relationship he made in seventh grade would shape his life forever? Cohen was raised in Long Island by a Jewish family, attended Colgate University after working the summer at a local ice cream shop. He then dropped out of college in his sophomore year and worked many minimum wage jobs, which led him to work as a crafts teacher at a private school. He then began experimenting with his own ice cream. Jerry Greenfield also grew up in Long Island in a Jewish family. He received a pre-med degree from Oberlin College in Ohio, where he also worked as an ice cream scooper in the school's cafeteria. After graduating, Greenfield failed to get into medical school, so he moved to New York to share an apartment with Ben, where he worked as a lab technician. Ben and Jerry lived in New York during the summer of 1977, where they had their first entrepreneurial idea. They wanted to open a bagel shop. After realizing how much the cost would add up to, they decided to open an ice cream store instead of because the startup costs were lower. In order to get this business started, Ben and Jerry took a $5 ice cream making course and searched for the right location. They wanted the location to be in a warm college town because they believed that college students ate a lot of ice cream. They opened their first store in what used to be a gas station in Burlington, Vermont in May 1978, as this met their criteria and there was not an already established ice cream shop there yet. The reason for Ben and Jerry's unique style of ice cream is to make up for Ben Cohen's anosmia, or smell blindness. They added large chunks to the ice cream to satisfy his need for texture and food. Although Ben and Jerry's has had a rough start in the past, they have developed into a national organization that uses their traditional and contemporary business tools to drive systematic and social change and advance the strategies of movements to deal with these issues. Some causes they support include criminal justice reform, voting rights, racial justice, LGBTQIA plus rights and equality, climate justice, refugee rights, and campaign finance reform. To support these causes, Ben and Jerry's made comp contributions to other organizations through the Ben and Jerry's Foundation. This foundation receives 7.5% of Ben and Jerry's pre-tax profits and distributes it to different organizations. This amounts to about $1.8 million annually, in addition to the hundreds of thousands of dollars they have donated to progressive causes individually. As successful entrepreneurs, Ben and Jerry have pursued the immense effort of becoming one of the nation's leading specialty ice cream brands. Together, they have found ways to combine profitability with social responsibility, which indicate a balanced plan on how to conduct their affairs. In the workplace environment, the pair created a progressive approach to employee management and incorporated humanitarianism and philanthropy into their business ethic. They encouraged a free exchange of ideas in the workplace and created worker-focused policies that benefit employees. After interviewing the class about their personal favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor, we identified the three favorite flavors and went to one of their locations to try them out for ourselves. The number one rated ice cream flavor in the class was fish food, number two was chocolate chip cookie dough, and number three was between six flavors and with a tonight dough winning with a random number generator. So my personal favorite flavor out of the three is chocolate chip cookie dough. I have been ordering this flavor for a while and it's just simply a classic. If I was held at gunpoint and told to eat a whole pint in one sitting, this would be my choice. My second favorite was fish food and my third was the tonight dough. Um, my favorite flavor out of the three was fish food. My favorite flavor has always been chocolate and I liked how fish food gave a slight taste of marshmallow and just was a bit different. It was very creamy and a flavor I was always look forward to. I was really surprised how much I liked it because I always see it at the supermarket, but I never chose to buy it. My second favorite flavor was chocolate chip cookie dough and the third was the tonight dough.